Hey guys, welcome back to another Bristol City career mode. One of the last episodes of season four now. We have only got five league games left. The table looks like this. We are 15 points ahead and there are only 15 games left. However, however, Arsenal have only played 32 games. So there is 18 points up for grabs for them. So winning this next game at home to Swansea would pretty much give us the title. They can get a maximum of 79 points which is what we would be on if we beat Swansea but our goal difference our jaw dropping goal difference is just massively better there's no way they're catching up to that so we've got this home game against Swansea then we will have to travel to Stoke and that's where it could be decided because if Arsenal win their game that's where we could win the league winning that match that's where the league could be done and dusted and we do really want to get it done and dusted before these games you know we don't want a total meltdown where we lose to Swansea, then we go and lose to Stoke, and then we have to play Chelsea, and we start massively panicking, and then we have to play Arsenal last day of the season, and we lose it to them, okay? We don't want that. We don't want that to happen. So we want to secure the league title at Stoke, if possible. So, but I'm going to sim this game at home to Swansea. The team is strong enough to beat Swansea at home, and then I'll play the game away at Stoke, which will be the tougher one, and that should decide the league title, hopefully. So we'll get the sim in here against Swansea. The recent results have been pretty decent, actually. Beating Middlesbrough, drawing with Arsenal, and then beating Sheffield Wednesday 4-0, but we have won. Ooh, Joe Hart with an injury. Not good. Not good. Ligue 1 hit bags too, though, and Limbombe scores two wingers, contributing to that win over Swansea. But a little bit worrying here as to what's happened to Joe Hart. Massive, massive blow for the club, as Joe Hart, who's been fantastic for us this season, has gone and got a medial collateral ligament injury and will be out for two months missing the Champions League semi-finals and a potential Champions League final. That is terrible. Well, luckily we still have this man at the club. Number one last season, Miguel Silva, still here. But as you can see, he just doesn't quite compare to Joe Hart at all. And we'll get a training session in with Miguel Silva on there as well. We need to train him up. We need to train him up, make sure he is ready for this. Okay, he's got to finish off the season strong for us. Finishing goes up for Andre Silva. Oh, there we go. Arsenal did get that win. They won 2-1 away at Southampton. So their fight continues, but it's soon to be all over. As if we win this game now, that's it. I mean, I think we only need to draw because they can get a maximum of 79 points. We only need to draw this game and we have won the league. Away at Stoke, tough place to go to get all three points. So the fact that we can get a draw is good for us. But also, remember, this game is just two days before the first leg of the Juventus game. Okay, boys, the team we're going with is Dembele up front, Limbombe on the left side, and Ligue 1 Hyok on the right side. As you can see, even these players are a little bit tired. Will Hughes in the midfield three with Ndidi and Bitch Boy Benassi. It's a back four of Alexander Arnold, Keen, Sanchez, Tierney, and Miguel Silva is going to have to play this game and the remainder of the season because we don't have a third goalkeeper. So. God forbid he gets injured in this match, lads. Otherwise, King Kai at 6'2 is going to be our goalkeeper. We have worked very hard to get into this position to finally win the Premier League. Such a horrible way it ended last season. But we have worked so hard. We have built up a fantastic squad, a squad with great depth. Can we do it against this Stoke team that have always caused us problems? Always an interesting game with Stoke, but, you know, we've come this far now. We can't slip up again. Long hard season for that man, but he's done some great things. Navigated his way to a strong position. Here's the Stoke side we will be playing. Ayo up front, Duf, Shawcross at the back, Butland's in goal. Joe Allen, is he playing right back or what? Come on, boys. Let's make all the season worthwhile. Let's lift this trophy. Come on. Ligue 1 Hiok dinked up to Dembele. Back to Ligue 1 Hiok. Into Will Hughes. Space! Oh, good block. Tierney, lovely interception there. Gets away quickly. Up to Limbombe. Oh, there's space for Dembele to receive this. Dembele dinks it. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah! Yes, it's gone in. It's in. It's confirmed a goal. Goal line technology has helped us out there. Look at that. Oh, God. Thank God for the goal decision system. Hey, 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 hey. Zuckoff skips past Tierney there. Oh, God, get that header, Sanchez. Oh, that's not comfortable at all. Miguel with his first touch. Indeed, he looking to dink it in. Ligue 1 Hiok takes it down. Still got it. Pulled back to Ndidi. Pulled back to Benassi. And that is a really bad shot. Dembele. Up to Benassi. Wide to Ligue 1 Hiok. Cuts it back. To oh, Limpombe has totally messed that one up. Oh, dear. Just going to make a sub here. Getting uh, Dembele off. I'm going to bring Kai on. 
Guy swings himself round into Limbombe. Limbombe. Oh, a little no look pass. Will Hughes. Oh, flippy flop. Ah, Limbombe. Limbombe's got the best free kick accuracy. Go on, Limbombe. Put this one in for the lads. They've jumped too early. Oh, just over the bar. All right, Limbombe's about to uh, go into cardiac arrest now, so we will get Rashford on for 20 minutes, give him a little run out. And we'll get Milinkovic Savic on as well, just to see this win out. Oh, Kai charges the pass down. Dings it over. Limbombe before he goes. Oh, you fucking twat. Kai bends it round. Tierney all to Rashford. Go, Rashford. They won't catch you, Rashford. Can he find somebody? Into the middle. Indeed. No! How has Portland saved that? You OP bastard! No, God, God. Well, we've done it, lads. We've won the Premier League. Who cares? We have done it. I don't think there'll be a title party until the end of the season. We'll get to do it in front of Arsenal, our closest competitors. Stoke were awful. They were dreadful. They had zero chances. One nil away. We have won the Premier League, lads. Oh. There we go, lads. There is confirmation. Bristol City secure Premier League title. Three seasons after winning the championship, we have gone on and won the big one, the Premier League. It is done. I know the, the season's got like a few games left still, but I just want to check on top scorers where we're at. Dembele is our top scorer with 10 goals. Obviously because he's been here the whole season and Andre Silva hasn't. And then it is Koke on 8, so yeah. Rashford's there on 8. Our goals have just been really well spread out. And then in terms of assists, Mbolo, yeah, fantastic. Mbolo there on 7. Nasa Nasa Chadley's got nine though, leading the way. But yeah, way in front. Joe Hart with 18 clean sheets. He'll keep that. And there's OP Butland on 12. Okay, Juventus at home. Semi-finals. This, we can fully focus on the Champions League now. The league is done and dusted. All we need to worry about is these two Juventus games. Right, let's check out their team then before we play them. Let's see what kind of players we could be facing. Buffon, surely, yeah, he's not played any games in the Champions League. He must be retired or just maybe they've just got him there in a coffin in the dressing room just to remind them of what a legend he is. Higuain, all 10 appearances, four goals, so that's the main man. Mandzukic playing still. Zaza, Jesus Christ, lads, really? Kingsley Coman, interesting. Oh, Renato Sanchez. Oh, ay, 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 physical midfield with Renato Sanchez. 85 rated. 87 rated Alexandro. Have they still got that Italian wall? Kayleen, he's not played any games. Socrates, Benucci, 87 rated, and Kulu's in the team. Okay, so they've got a, they've got a decent balance of uh, you know star players. Okay, guys, you know the first team by now. You know the RSE, the midfield three: Koke, Milinkovic, Savic, Bakayoko. That almighty defence of Ake, Murillo, Christensen, Montoya, and Silva is the only change from our usual first eleven. Hopefully, he is good enough. Oh my God, Renato Sanchez looks mean. <laughs> Okay, Pjanic, their little maestro playmaker, and there's our maestro playmaker. Oh my god, is is that Zaza on the end? Are they actually playing Zaza? Right, what is their team? Benucci captains them. Trap is in goal. Sanchez is in the midfield alongside Pjanic. Seri and Zaza is up front. No Higuain. I repeat, no Higuain. And they play a three back. Very, very interesting. I don't know what Seri is rated, but, you know... So we can't underestimate him, but Zaza's our shit. Okay, let's go, boys. Rashford into Andre Silva. Andre Silva into Milinkovic Savic. Milinkovic Savic already trying to breach that dangerous tackle. Coman has given away a penalty within two minutes. Terrible start for Juventus. Milinkovic Savic charges into the box, and Coman clumsily knocks him straight over. And it will be the man, Andre Silva, to step up and put us in front. And he is got in. Goalkeeper got close to it, but Andre Silva has bagged yet again in the big games. I just, I'm just feeling it. Everything is going our way this season. Getting penalties early, early goals in big games. Sarza, who I called shit, linking up with Seri. Oh crap! Oh Jesus, rolls it wide. Oh Rashford just steams in front of their fullback, going all on his own here. Gets past Panucci. It's a shot trap. Easy save for him. Good challenge from Bakayoko, high up the pitch. Andre Silva. Andre Silva, he's done really well. He's waited really well for Mbolo. Goal! 2-0! Oh yes, very, very good for us. Mbolo, the man, always again, another man that pops up with big goals. Andre Silva did really well here, waits for an opening. Two men went with 
the run of Bakayoko and Mbola gets the chance to put one away. Corner ball to Juventus. Looks like they're going to play it short here. Into Pjanic. Whips it into the box. Oh my god! Jao Miguel gets smacked to the floor. What happened there? Mbolo sees a pass on the edge of the box to Koke. Reverses it. Andre Silva. Ah, oh, he's fluffed that one. Oh, great interception from Ake. And again, players queuing up on this far right. Bakayoko, not the greatest guy to hit a shot. Montoya hits it. Oh, oh no, Ramadan. Let's go. <laughs> I tell you, lads, the luck is just all with us. That is unbelievable. Andre Silva should have scored. I pressed X because I just panicked when the ball came to me here. Bakayoko, Montoya hits a shot. I pressed X there for no reason. Koke manages to roll it in. Unbelievable. Pjanic, dangerous position here for him to be in. He's twisting, turning, back post to Donis. Squares it. Oh, that he should have scored there. Sanchez, oh my God, up to Rossetti. Into Ron, oh, Sanchez, and they've scored. They have scored a goal. They've got an away goal. They have a lifeline. Ah, it's no good for us. Andre Silva. Back to Koke. Back into Andre Silva. Andre Silva looking to try and charge it. And shot. Oh, ho, ho. great solo goal from Andre Silva. Kills off Juventus' dreams. Extremely strong position now going into the away leg. But this is brilliant from Andre Silva. Holds off their defender, whoever it was. And what a finish. Just unleashes a bullet into the far corner with his weaker foot. <laughs> Let's get a few subs on here. We're going to get two in Zabi in the midfield just to make sure they don't score any more goals. Benassi can come on for Koke. Then we will give Andre Silva a rest. To... Oh, Rashford still. Oh, they have just been terrible. They have gone to pot Juventus. Rashford looking for Kai. Kai put it away. Oh, Trap saves it. Damn, that could have been the end of the tie right there. Montoya. Back to Tuinzebe. Oh, Renato Sanchez charges him down. Oh, my God. A lot of Juventus players coming forward here. Could they get one more away goal? That would hurt us. That would hurt us quite a lot. Mandzukic, Murillo needs to get him. Move on. And ta yes, excellent tackle. Corner ball for Juventus. If they grabbed another away goal, it'll be, it'll be very good for him. Montoya heads clear. Is that final whistle going to go? Oh, is Kai just going to draw? Oh, Kai's strength comes into play. Go on, Kai. Smack it this time. <laughs> Kai finishes off the chance he had before. Makes it 5-1 and surely it is impossible for us to mess up the away leg. Look at him run free. So much strength. Finishes that one. Oh my god. What? No one can come to Ashton Gate at the minute. Wow. Wow. Well, Juventus did not turn up playing good football at all. And I think the majority of their problems came from the fact that that three back just did not match up against our back, our front three. They just didn't have the players to mark them. Komen was not a good wing back. They just, I don't know how they made it to this semi-final. They were poor. But we were fantastic. Like, we've been all season. The luck was on our side. And so were the goals. Five of them. Right, we have Chelsea at home. And obviously, we don't care about this game at all. Well, I'm interested in resting key players for the Juventus game. But, you know, we are winning 5-1. So, I wouldn't panic too much. Right, so we will sim this game at home against Chelsea. Uh, it's a decent team, you know, Benassi and Didi will use Dembele's up front, the top goal scorer for us. See if he can grab some more. Oh, we've won! Alexander Arnold, the right back has scored, and that just sums up the strength in depth we have. Okay, here we go, away in this second leg, and um, we do want to be wary of what happened to PSG in real life against Barcelona. You know, going away in the second leg and just trying to protect your lead is, you know, you can get punished for that. We're going to go with the exact same team, obviously, why would we change it? Their tactics were a mess. Ours were spot on. It's them that need to make the tactical adjustments. Oh, well, Manchester United losing 3-1 in the semi-final. Interesting. So it could be into Milan. Another Italian team that we face in the final. Got to focus on this game first, though. Uh, how much of an atmosphere can these UV fans create to unnerve this Bristol City team? Can they get behind their team enough to inspire a miracle? Interesting. No real changes to the lineup at all. As I can see, which is just stupid. No formation change. Idiotic from the manager. Very confident now we can win this. Right, boys. Finish the job off. Koke whips in on Renato Sanchez. Andre Silva hits an early shot. Trap has to parry it. 
Oh, Milinkovic Savic rips that ball away into Rashford. Oh, he beats Bonucci. Oh, safe from trap. Ah, shit, bass. Milinkovic Savic again rips the ball off their team. Save from trap yet again. Oh, Zorzo got away. Oh, God, Murillo. Milinkovic Savic skips in between. Renato Sanchez up to Rushford. Yes. Goodbye, Juventus. It's all over for them. We've got that away goal. There is absolutely nothing they can do now. Rashford got it. Good finish. With that goal going in, I'm going to get off some key players in Andre Silva, Milinkovic, Savic, and Koke. We'll bring Hughes, Benassi, and Kai on. Another core ball. Kurt Berthe, but I can't say corner ball anymore. Kai heads it. No, he doesn't. Oh, my goodness. Juventus throwing more and more bodies forward. It's a bit late for that. Lamina gets the ball. Bakayoko. Go on, Bakayoko. Get near it. Oh, that's a good pass. Ah, they've scored as well. Yeah, fuck you. Final whistle goes. Obviously, we are into the final of the Champions League. Absolute smashing of Juventus. It was a boring game, really, you know. 6-2 on aggregate. Again, Juve lose to Bristol City in the semi-final of the Champions League. Goodbye. And it looks like we will face Inter Milan in the final of the Champions League. Another Italian side. We won't be playing Manchester United, who seem to dominate the way through into the round 16 of quarterfinals. 5-1, 6-0. But when it came to Inter Milan, they could only score one. And that's with that formidable attack they've got of Kane, Muller, Griezmann. So uh, quite worrying now. All right, the final episode of season four, lads, is poised nicely. So tune in next time, guys, for the finale of season four. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more FIFA 17 career modes. I'm Zootman. Hope you guys have a great day.